hello students so as you are aware that in past lectures we have already studied about html and the basic tags for the day we will be learning about exactly how to code html on google sites so as you are able to see over here this is the theory part exactly how to embed your codes onto a google sites over there i won't be reading out the theory part over there i will be directly showing you the practical part exactly how to open google sites and where you have to write the code or uh, where you have to embed the codes on google sites for html so over here when you go to your mail over there you will be able to see this google apps when we click on google apps we will be able to see sites over there so as soon as i click on the sites it will take few seconds and the user interface which you are able to see in front of you will be displayed over there we require to click on the plus sign or the blank one over there and it will automatically navigate us to a new google sites so the first thing that i require is as soon as the site open you will be naming this particular site so i am naming this practice html you can give any name to this particular site and whatever codes we are running we will be running the codes on the same website done now how to write the code as you are able to see as soon as i write it is visible over here now the next step is that so it is very very clear exactly how to open google sites now how to embed or how to insert the code so as you are able to see over here you will be able to see three buttons or three options over here insert page and themes i'll be going under insert i'm already under insert menu under insert menu the second step is that you will have to go on embed as soon as you click on embed a user interface or a window will open in front of you as you are able to see embed from the web and it will show two parts by url and by embed code i have to click on embed code over there and here is the text editor where we will be writing the codes of the html part over there so is the first part very clear to all of you how to open it one more time go on the google apps click on the sites a user interface will get open over there you have to click on the plus sign and you will be able to see a web page like this how to open it go on go on insert the next option is embed when we click on embed you will be getting two options by url that will be by default selected we have to go to embed code now moving ahead now i will be showing you exactly a very very simple code regarding html header tags <coughs> so basically header tags are used to display the text slightly bigger and bold than the normal text that are displayed in the body area now whenever we are talking about the header parts there are six headers h1 to h6 h1 being the <coughs> h1 being the first tag so the text that are displayed in h1 are bigger and the smallest one will be displayed in h6 so let's code it but i will be using first a google doc and then i will be copying it you can directly write the codes on google sites over here done i am writing over here because so that it is visible to all of you exactly how to write the codes so i will be increasing the size of my font i am making it 20 and over here i am making it 125 always remember the first tag as we have done in the previous lectures the first tag it is html html stands for hyper text markup language now the next tag over there is head tag and each and every web page has to be given a title as we are normally doing for google doc google sheets google slides whatever we have done 
of Google applications, always we tell you the first protocol is that whenever you open a particular application, you have to give a title. So I will be giving a title as practice page and I'm closing it. So remember, this is opening tag. This is the closing tag and in between it is called as the content. Then opening tag, closing tag and content over there. Now, whatever information, I will be closing the head now and then I will be starting with the body tag. Whatever content you require should be visible on your screen or on your web page should be given under body tag. So first I am writing H1. I will be writing this is heading 1 and I will be closing H1. The same, I will be copy pasting it. H2, sorry, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. Just change the numbers over here. H2, heading 2, H2. H3, heading 3. H3, H4, heading 4, H4, then H5, 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 then it is H6, H6 and H6. So these are my headers as we have already seen. Now I will be closing the first body tag and then I will be closing the HTML part over there. Now if you have written the code directly on Google sites, well and good, I will be copy pasting it. So copy, coming to the Google sites, paste it. As soon as you write the code, the next button will get enabled over there. If nothing is there, you will be able to see that next button is not enabled. So I'll paste it. In order to see the output, you have to click on the next option as soon as you click on next option you are able to see heading one contain the largest heading the next decreasing in size is heading, heading two and the last size is h6 that is heading six and if you require to edit the code you have to come to the output you will be able to see this edit option over there click on it or if you have by mistake click, click on insert button not to worry about it Again, it will be inserted on your Google sites, but the edit option will still be available. Done. So we have done the first part that is heading 1 to heading 6. And remember, there are only 6 headings. Now the next tag, as you are able to see over here, will be body tag. Now under body tag, I will be showing you a few of the tags that we will be using. Now as said earlier also, Whatever information we require to display on the web pages has to be written under body tag. Now, what are the tags over there? First, we will be trying body BG color. Note down the spelling of color. It is C-O-L-O-R. Either I can write the color directly or I will be taking a hex value. So, I will be making use of Google Doc itself. Here is the body tag. So I'll be writing BG, that is background and color, equal to, again the same thing I'm writing over here is orange. Only copy paste, copy this particular part, go on Google sites, see where body tag is there, yes it is over here, paste it. Now run it again. Next, you are able to see now, as the output is displayed over there, the entire Web page is now in orange color. Try to give certain other color. So you can try via different colors. So I have given body. Then over here you are able to see body text equal to black. Done. So we will try this particular code. Let us see whether it runs or not. So body already a code is a BG color. I will be typing text equal to as you are able to see over here body text equal to black 
now i will be writing certain other color and let us see whether it runs or not so it was a uh, yellow color i think so yes i will be giving certain contrast color so i will be giving a blue color copy paste it edit it clearly you are able to see that the heading h1 h2 when i in say save it you will be able to see initially it was black now it is blue in color done next this let us left margin right margin top and bottom this are nothing but the margin that we are doing like google doc in order to set the margins for a google doc we are doing this particular part so even the margins can be set next coming the br tag which is very very important tag now first of all what is br br stands for break now i will be writing a sentence and let us see how it works out over here click on insert and bif over here again i am making use of h1 hi this is or i will be writing the green oh sorry i am making use of over here after h6 again it is h1 the green acres academy done now if suppose i want located in chambur so i'll be pressing enter and i will be thinking that located in chambur will be coming on next line located in chambur and let us close h1 done only copy h1 come to the google sites over there paste it over here next now you will be able to see over here save it located in chambur when i just increase the size you are able to see that located in chambur is coming on the straight on the single line but i do not require on the single line i require located in chambur on the next line so how to do it coming back to the code over here after this i will be typing dr br stands for break so a line break will be there edit option from over here i will be pasting it and let's see how it works out now save it now clearly you are able to see the green acres academy located in chimbor is now coming on next line done so these are few of the tags that we we will be practicing at our end <clears throat> thank you